Hi Sagittarius, welcome, welcome back. This is a reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, you might find it resonates more though if this is your Moon or Rising sign. Okay, let's see. What's the message please? Okay, I'm hearing a One Republic. Too late to apologise. Is that is that the song? I think so, I'm not sure. So I don't know if they're wondering if is it too late to apologise? Or they might be saying it's too late to apologise. We have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Mmm. Knight of Swords in the reverse. There's definitely something they're wanting to say. We have the Sun, Leo. We have the Four of Swords. Three of Cups in the reverse. We have the Chariot reversed, Cancer energy. The Four of Cups and we have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, for some of you, yeah, Two of Cups in the reverse. I almost feel you may have had a relationship with this person. Um, and they're wanting to step back into this, a relationship, a marriage. For others of you, if that's not the case, there was the, a lot of potential here for commitment that just didn't come through, didn't come to fruition because your person is now saying, I was unfocused, the chariot in the reverse. With the three of cups as well, they could have been trying to um, have many options or maybe they just were saying, I wasn't ready to settle down. I didn't want to commit. Um, they were also saying sun in reverse, four of cups. I wasn't quite seeing the value of the offer that was being presented to me. I was maybe moaning and grumbling about my current life, my current situation. And yet this cup was being offered, this opportunity was being offered and it was a divine gift, um, but I didn't see it or I was being complacent about taking it. So they want you to know they've been doing a lot of thinking recently, Four of Swords, Ten of uh, Coins reversed, about the fact that they either A, want to return to this established relationship you had in the past or B, um, they're thinking about the potential for a, a relationship, for putting down roots here, and they're sort of daydreaming about what this could be like. Your person wants you to know they still feel very connected to you, Two of Cups here. It's in the reverse. They understand there has been a struggle. Oh, we have death, Scorpio. There's maybe even been an ending. But they're saying, you know, I really, my, my greatest wish here is to end the cycle we've been through and to have a new beginning with you. And for me to show you that, that I am more focused now. I am mature. I know exactly what I'm wanting from this. Three of cups reversed. For some of you, and if this is your case, you know it. I'm not seeing it's hidden from you. So if it's not, then, you know, fair enough, it's not. But there could have been a third party in, in the sense that they left you to go and be with someone else or they walked out of your connection or they just had many options and they weren't being decisive about you know which direction they were heading in here but either way um your person's been doing a lot of thinking about the chance they had with you is it too late to apologize i think is what they're wondering here um very very desperate to talk to you but with the chariot reverse they might be wondering Maybe there's some of them wondering, where do you live? Did you move? How do I get to you? I want to talk to you face to face. How can I make this work? For, for others of you, they might be saying, I need to get control of my thoughts. They're running away with me. My fears, you know, they, they feel bigger than me right now or my confusion here. Um, I think there's a fear. Sometimes they wonder, you know, is this, am I imagining this? I feel truly, I do feel that there is a special connection here and I'm sure it's mutual, but sometimes maybe they check themselves and they're, they're like, really? This this seems like a fairy tale, it cannot be. You know, and they're, they're wrestling with that, um, going back and forth. But your person here, pile one, has had a big realization. Um, and they, they want, really, they want to have back what was being offered before and they're wondering, is it too late? Can I have this back? So they don't seem to be taking much action. They're doing a lot of thinking, maybe a lot of remembering as well. Okay. So let's keep going. I have a couple of um, new decks coming that I want to add to my messages reading. So hopefully they'll be here by next week. They're coming from abroad, so I'm not sure how long they'll take. Okay, we have Smoker. So 
I'm hearing there's no smoke without fire. So I don't know someone who's literally a smoker, but I think this is more talking about maybe there was some drama created um, or there was sort of, there was some rumors going around about maybe your person and what they've been up to. Yeah, look, lies. And you may have been wondering, can I actually trust this person? And you may have found out that um, they were doing some things to, to not justify, but to maybe explain the reputation they had or, or what people were saying about them. I think this is, you know, your person saying, I've grown away from this now. I'm not doing those things anymore. I'm not creating drama. I'm not trying to create a reputation for myself that's actually a mask. You know, I'm not doing any of those things anymore. I underestimated you. Yeah, I underestimated this connection. Absolutely. You know, I mean, it was a gift literally coming out of a disembodied hand in a cloud. You don't ignore that. That's definitely something worthy of your attention here. Okay, we have I dream about you. And I do think this is not just when they're sleeping. I think they daydream as well. A lot of their time and energy is dedicated towards thinking about you. Absolutely. Hell yes, always. So yeah, it's all about you. They choose you always. They always come back to you. Their thoughts always come back to you. No one can replace you here if they tried to move away from this connection um, and put their effort into something else with someone else. It hasn't worked. Okay, we have funny. So you, you could find them very funny. They might think that you're very funny. We have ah, single. So yeah, I get in the past, this person liked being single. They liked doing what they wanted when they wanted it. Maybe um, having casual encounters or something like that, or just being flirtatious, um, resisting commitment here. Um, again, I think that's changed. And if that's not the case, I just feel they're telling you I'm single, I'm ready to go. We have no, and we have someone better is on the way. Okay. So a couple of things. Number one, I feel this is them doubting. Remember how I was saying they need to get control of their mind, which is going in all directions. They might be saying, um, no, I shouldn't step forward. Someone better is on the way for pile one. I, you know, I'm not good enough. I can't be everything they want. And then they flip over and they're saying, no, you know, someone better is not on the way. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to see you with anyone else. So, um, yeah, confidence, some confidence sometimes and then doubting other times. <laughs> and that's you know the no is right underneath the absolutely hell yes always okay the person um i think the biggest source of confusion for them right now in their lives is themselves actually okay so let's have a look let's keep going what else would you like to say to pile one please i'm watching all you do and say publicly maybe driving by you, asking folks about you, or finding anything out I can, anywhere I can. I just don't want you going anywhere and want to stay apprised. Okay, I guess so they want to stay um, on top of, you know, everything that you're doing right now. So some of you may like that, others of you might find that a bit creepy, I guess. <laughs> Let's see what else comes out to decide which. That's interesting, just after I'm saying that they don't want to see you, you know, with anyone else. Um, I have to put my career first right now. And though you probably think I'm putting this before you, I feel it's actually letting me be comfortable while I build something stable for us. So yeah, for some of you, if with that 10 of coins, you feel that your person is more interested in money, status, um, their career, I think they're saying actually, I mean, yes, but also I, I do want to be stable. I do want to be comfortable and feeling good about myself for when I come forward towards you. So they're not just making money to hoard it and, and be selfish. Okay, what else, please? Sometimes I just don't see how we can overcome our differences. I feel so discouraged right now. I'm trying to find a way to you, but I'm but I'm just deflated at the moment, I need a miracle. Do you see how that's in direct opposition to I'm putting in the work and effort? Putting in the work sounds like I feel empowered, I'm taking control. This message sounds like it's all out of my hands. So you see back and forth, back and forth. Oh gosh, I've chosen to date someone else right now. So please respect that and give me time and space to, to see what I truly want. If we're truly destined, I'll see that clearly as I explore this. Gosh, okay, that's triggering, isn't it? So what I will say again is if 
this is your message. If your per person has chosen to date someone else, you already know. I see no cards of anything hidden here. So please don't let this worry you if it's not something you know for a fact. This isn't your message. This is for someone else. Um, also, I kind of feel this is maybe what they did in the past. Remember how I was saying earlier in the reading that they may have had options or they may have had something stable with you or it was heading that way and then they stepped out of this and now they're regretting it again. Is it too late to apologise? Okay, I'm finally starting to love myself enough to be open to you loving me. I'm on shaky legs yet, but I'm heading in the right direction. I want to work on this, so I'm not too needy or push you away. Hmm... Okay, what's on the back? Please stop doubting our connection. I can sense it and it's making me doubt too. Just have faith and know I'll reach out to you when divine timing dictates and no sooner. Trust me, trust life more. Okay. So I guess, you know, if you have been a bit fearful, they might be picking that up energetically. Um, and I think if they're asking for some space, it seems to be that they're trying to, to work on themselves and to feel um, more grounded, more stable, more confident. Okay, so this deck, I, I'm sure you've heard me say, the blue cards are intended to be the feminine energy, the red, the masculine energy. So um, you can read it that way if you like as the cards come out. But I'm just going to intend that all of the messages here are from your person to you. Okay, what messages for pile one, please? Um, I am so afraid that you have left my life forever. It hurts me to the core. Mm. I, I also think we can read that as I'm so afraid I sort of pushed you away or I did certain things that made you feel you, you needed to walk away. I feel so <laughs> yeah, I feel so stupid for choosing lust over love. I do think for many of you in the past, you know, the energy here about other people is in the past and your person regretting the decisions they made. I feel so alone. Why did you abandon me? I don't think you did. I think maybe you focused on self-care, self-love. I have faith that we will be together again. I'm holding space for you. Gosh, pile one, your person is, um, is swinging like a pendulum from faith and confidence to um, insecurity and doubt. It must be quite exhausting for them actually right now. Okay. I imagine the type of person you'd want to be with and that person is nothing like me. Maybe that's why they're trying to work so hard on themselves because they have an idea of who they should be for you, whether that's, you know, something you've been thinking or not. Um, I am learning that I can still have a great life without you. Ouch. Gosh, that's harsh. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can read that in a different way. May maybe, look, if that's what this person's saying, I would say screw them, move on. Um, maybe they're saying this is them being independent, not codependent, not needy, not clingy. Maybe this is you. Again, as I said, read, read it as it resonates. Maybe that's your energy. Telling you I need you will be the hardest thing I'll ever have to do. And I do believe that. There's a lot of nerves, worry around this. I think they'd have been very nervous already, but I feel they've, they're have they showing me that they've taken steps in this connection that have really complicated things, maybe practically, but emotionally, definitely. I am angry with you, but really I am angry at myself. Hmm. So if in the past they did sort of take things out on you or push you away because they felt triggered, it was because it was highlighting something to them within themselves. Okay, let's see what else. You still hold a piece of my heart. Mm -hmm. I know I made a huge mistake. Yeah, gosh, what do they do? Am I good enough for you? I think when they ask themselves this, they, they feel like they're not, not yet. I'm still trying to find myself. I'm still trying to improve myself. You are irreplaceable. Yeah, maybe they tried, you know, and they realized, gosh, I've made a mistake. What am I doing? I, I was reminded of your scent recently. Okay. So that could be for those of you, you know, who, who have spent a lot of time in person together. It can also be, I always think with this as well, there could be a smell that they 
um, connect with you, whether that's because of something you have said, you know, oh, I love the smell of oranges or whatever, or um, there's just something that for them personally makes them think of you. Maybe it's like a, a comforting smell or something like that. You inspire me. I'm still haunted by my actions. Yeah, if, if you know, pile one, I think this is your reading if a person's done something that caused you a lot of pain. Um, and if you're wondering, do they regret this? Yes. Do they know how much pain they caused? Absolutely, because they caused pain for themselves as well. And when I see this card, you inspire me, um, it makes me think that you have been making some moves in your life, that you have been focusing on yourself, that you've been growing in some way, um, and that your person has noticed they have seen it. I mean, they've already said they're watching literally everything you do. Um, I haven't seen anything that's concerning, so I think it's just that they, they do want to stay abreast of what's going on in your life. Um, but this, this person is so, so nervous. Um, will they reach out to you soon? Hmm, if I'm honest, I don't think it's going to be very, very soon, just because they're so uncertain. You know, it's like, yes, no, yes, no. I think in a day, they go back and forth, probably five times an hour, you know, about reaching out. Should I, shouldn't I? Yes, I will. No, I won't. It's a good time. It's a terrible time. Now's the time. Actually, I missed the time. No, the time is later. Do you see what I mean? It's too much. Um, so very nervous, very regretful. But at the same time, very hopeful that there was, there's still a future here. So I think this person here needs a bit more time to become grounded and to settle into whatever this new existence is that they're creating, you know, with, with the Ten of Pentacles, this self-improvement. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here, pile one. I hope this resonated. I hope this helped. If it didn't, please feel free to choose one of the other two piles. Um, also, I should have said, if you feel guided to one of the other two as well. It might be worth checking them out to see if there are some additional messages. Okay, thank you so much for watching and hopefully see you soon. Bye. Hi, pile two. So you chose the dice with a number 11. So I'm thinking you may have some twin flame connections or this is about potential new beginnings. Um, right, pile one it was a little bit rough, but I think, um, the rough the rough part is over so i'm happy about that for pile one but pile two let's see what messages we get for you from your person Ooh, you might have um messages coming in quickly okay so spirit what messages can you bring through please from pile two's person please so pile two's person what messages do they have for pile two we'll start with tarot and we'll do message cards we'll do oracle messages as well okay pile two's person oh my goodness the devil so we have capricorn energy potentially um you know with the devil and also seeing the knight of swords coming out i can't help but feel your per your person's very focused on you um, if you are seeing lots of signs, synchronicities, maybe you are seeing 11, 11 and you're wondering, what does it mean? Um, you know, what are these number patterns trying to tell me? It could actually be your person calling you in, you know, their energy is so strong. They're thinking about you so much. Yeah, we have the Ace of Swords. They have something to say. We have Strength in Reverse, Leo. We have the Moon, Pisces. You may even find that not only are you seeing signs during the day, you're dreaming about this person as well. If you wake up and you feel exhausted, it could be because you were sort of astral traveling with them or they were connecting with you in that, the astral planes um, in the fifth dimension as well. We have justice in reverse, Libra, the wheel of fortune reversed, Sagittarius, we have the nine of cups in reverse and we have the king of wands. We have the high priestess. Oh, yeah, this is an intense connection. I'm not surprised though with the um, 11. Um, right, your person's message to you is... I refuse. <laughs> I refuse to accept that this is over. I refuse to accept this injustice. So what is it that they think is um, unfair, unjust? Well, the fact that they're saying this is not moving forward. This is not moving forward in the way that I want, or maybe it's not moving forward at all. Um, yes, maybe strength, nine of cups. I put my pride and ego first. Yes, maybe I was more self-interested than interested in the good of, of the both of us. Yet still, I do not accept. I do not accept, you know, that I have to walk away. Um, maybe the natural consequences of my actions here would be that I messed up. 
um, and that you're self-focusing, well, fine. But I still don't accept that. You know, your person's here, the king of wands at the end. They're fa facing the rest of this bread. They're saying that, yes, maybe they were not in the highest vibration. Yes, reasonably, or it's reasonable to assume maybe you don't want to hear from them again. Or, um, you know, that they messed up their chance. But they're also saying, I'm going to take control of fate. Even if, you know, the wheel of fortune is reversed. Even if the divine will not move this forward. I'm going to move it forward. I've realized, you know, I have a truth to speak. I'm impatient to speak it. Um, the things I haven't said that I need to say, I've got to say them now. I realize where I went wrong and I'm going to, to make it right. So your person is, is oh, um, they're certainly not calm. This person is really worked up, very impatient to get to you, to speak to you, to move this forward. They don't want to hear no from you, from the divine. Um, I, I actually, I feel this focus, this heatedness is coming from fear. If your person was very calm and balanced, I'd expect to see something like the magician. The magician knows they have all of the tools available to shape their reality. Your person is, is going to force things to happen if they need to that's the energy they're in i'm not seeing anything i know we have the devil but even so i'm not seeing anything scary to suggest they're going to actually force you into anything but the energy they're in they're telling themselves well if this isn't going to happen naturally i will make it happen you know i don't care if there's a tornado in the way i'm going to to get in my car and i'm going to drive to you it's a it's a bit unreasonable you know <laughs> um so you may be feeling overwhelmed by the strength of their energy. For some of you, I think this person may already be writing to you, communicating with you. But I think for more of you, um, that's their intention. And with the devil, it's it's like, yeah, I'm so, so focused on this. I'm overly focused on this right now. And they might not be doing it in the most balanced way. Um, because, yeah, because of fear. And we do have, we have the moon on top of the king of wands. There's complete fear that, that this might be the last chance or... Um, I'm hearing no, I, I won't even consider that. It's like they're saying, Amelia, stop. Don't even go down that route because I'm not going to consider it. I'm having another go here. <laughs> I've realized what I did wrong. I'm having another chance. I'm going to do it right. So pile two, I would expect action from your person. Um, I'm hearing henceforth. So, so henceforth, from this point forward, your person is going to show up differently. They're going to put in action. You might be actually very surprised with the way they're showing up. You might even have to say, can you please back off? Um, can you slow down? Can you give me a moment to think? And talking about having a moment, I'm going to just pause and put the light on and I will be back in a moment. Okay, so big energy pile two from your person. Um, they're fully intending to show up and speak some kind of truth to you. So whatever it is that they're saying, um, you can trust it. Um, I just I just kind of feel that if you don't want to hear them out in the 3D, they're saying, well, then I will communicate with you in the 5D. So if you do feel overwhelmed, I think it's okay to set some boundaries here. But this is an energy of someone who's not giving up, someone who... Um, is so focused on you that they are showing up in, in your life. And you might be wondering, why is this happening? How's this happening? What does this mean? Okay, so let's go through and get some messages from them. Also, you know, I can't deny it with the devil and with the king of wands as well, and strength in reverse, whatever passion, particularly like sexual passion, your person, person, <laughs> your person has for you or has had and has been restraining, they're letting that out now. Um, so if it seems like it's coming out of nowhere, just know it, it isn't. They've had this for some time, um, but they've been keeping a, a tight hold on it. Maybe, for example, they're saying, oh, it hasn't been appropriate for me to show you and, and it's bubbling over now. Um, Mm. Okay, let's see what we have. We have, there's something you don't know about me. Could be all this passion. If it's not clear, I'll go in and clarify it with Tarot. I'm becoming more awakened slash spiritual because of you, because of this connection. And we can see that definitely with the moon, with the high priestess. Okay, we have, how does someone like you even exist? I'm blown away. And that's why they're not prepared to accept that either this is over or they messed up or that you don't want to hear from them yeah rage 
I'm telling you, this person is hot under the collar. I don't think they're angry with you. I think they're like raging against the universe. Why, why did it take me so long to wake up? Why didn't you make this clear to me before? Why, um, why are you preventing me from getting to pile two? You know, um, they, they, yeah, this is a, <laughs> a king of wands who is, is not feeling very calm. I feel the same. So if you have told your person in the past that, you know, well, how you feel about them, that you feel that they're the one or you feel romantic or you want to move this forward, they're saying, I feel the same, I feel the same. I'm feeling like someone chasing you down the road saying, no, wait, I feel the same. So maybe it's taken them so long to tell you how they feel that they're panicked now. We have loud. Okay, so this could be someone who is loud. It could just be that this message is coming in loud and clear. Okay, we have we have Libra and we do have Libra here with justice. So this could be about the sign, Libra. It can also be about bringing in balance. I think your person finds you to be very beautiful as well. You know, Libra's connection with um, Venus. Beautiful, handsome. We have predictable. So you might be saying, yeah, this, this is energy I recognise from my person. Um, or this person is usually quite predictable and you might really be blown away with how they're showing up. You know, and it's almost like a very impulsive energy, except it won't be that they're appearing on your doorstep or in your inbox in an, because of an impulse. This is something they are very focused on. And I feel they have been for a while. OK, let's see what else. I've been thinking of working with you on a passion project. Yeah, they have plenty of that. Please come up with some ideas as well. Um, so next we talk, we can share our ideas. It won't be too far from now. I believe it will not be too far from now. I feel they're literally on your doorstep, whether that's, I mean, I'm assuming they're not on your doorstep right now, but, um, you know, metaphorically speaking, they're very close. I'm about to reach out, but I'm so nervous. I can hardly stand it. I don't think they're nervous. I think they have a nervous energy. There's a restlessness. Um, so much to say explain and apologize for just give me a moment to get ready so i don't mess this up yeah some things you've said have me reeling i appreciated it even if i acted defensive i have some reflecting to do but i'm not going anywhere i know this will make us stronger okay so maybe they were reflecting and now they're saying great i'm, I'm i've processed what you've said i've made changes I'm, i've had my response and i'm ready to come in Okay, um, I want to call or visit so badly, but I have so much to do right now before I feel I can give you the time and attention you deserve, but I'm working you up my list of priorities. That's a promise. To be honest, I think you're number one. You're not even just number one. You're like way up there. Then there's a huge gap and then there are other priorities. In the past, maybe you were not. And that's one of their mistakes. But right now you are this person's main focus. I'm having commitment issues right now because I doubt my ability to make good choices and I'm afraid to go through Yet another breakup I have to learn to trust myself more even if, if this person is fearful it really is not stopping them that's what I'm feeling here okay what other messages does this person have to pile to please spirit Um, I am embarrassed over how desperate I became and what I did. Do you still respect me? Goodness, what did they do? They have some embarrassment here. Okay, we have, I never loved them. It was just about the sex. I love you. Maybe, maybe that's what they did. I don't know. Okay, I did not expect you to enter my life when you did. I was not ready. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like they're saying, I'm so angry with you. You know, universe, world. God, spirit, whoever, whatever. I'm just so angry. It's so unfair. Justice in reverse. You know, I wasn't ready. Why would you bring me someone so amazing before I was ready? It's not fair. Yes, I messed up, but but I don't accept it. You know, they're really cross with the general universal energy. You are the most beautiful creature I have ever seen. I really didn't think we were compatible at first. I see that we are now. 
Mm-hmm. Maybe they jump to some conclusions. Wow, will you marry me? Yeah, just just tell this person to calm down, to slow it down a little. I mean, they're really. Um... <laughs> I think they need to like have a cup of tea and take a breath. Okay. Sometimes I leave so you can know that you will be just fine without me. This card always confuses me because that seems like a parent, something a parent would do with a child. You know, I'm dropping you off at university. I know you're going to be fine and you're going to grow. Or I see you have a problem here and I could fix it, but I see that you're learning to fix it yourself. You know, you know that kind of thing. So maybe this person's been a bit... You may have felt felt that they've overstepped in the past and they maybe have tried to tell you what you were feeling or to do what's best for both of you and you're saying well i can do what's best for me you just focus on yourself i need to control this connection i'm afraid i will lose myself in you yeah see very controlling and we have a huge imbalance here we've got lots and lots of masculine energy with the red cards and feminine one feminine with the blue so your person is in a hugely action focused place right now they are determined to make something happen and i think if they get to you finally and you say no thank you it's like they're just going to be gobsmacked they won't know how to process that okay so what else what else do you want to say to pile two please It's really hard for me to open up. Your words linger in my mind. So maybe you said something to them about opening up. I'm just doing what I have to do right now. And to be honest, they're saying, I'm doing what I have to do. I have to, to say something to you. I just have to do it. Don't care, you know, don't care about anything else. I just have to, to get to you. I feel badly for the way that I treated you. You didn't deserve that. Okay, we have, it really was me, not you. I know I screwed things up and honestly have no idea how to fix it. I don't think that's necessarily true. They, they feel that the first thing they need to do is come in and, and apologize or speak to you or, or say something to you. I look at your picture often and I have to say that's not necessarily just in the PG sense either. Not with all that passion. I'm in a much better headspace now. I just have to do something else right now. Please try and understand. We have many messages here. A lot of signs are pointing to you lately. I think because they're drawing them in because they're so focused on you. I thought about reaching out to you, but then I stopped myself. I know you're right, but I need to come to my own conclusions. Yeah, this is someone who's quite stubborn. And I think they have in the past, they've had to come to their own conclusions about this. And now they finally have. And it seems like it's the same conclusion that you reached maybe a while back. They're saying, my God, I've had an epiphany. It's been a huge tower moment. I have to share it with you right now. Um, so pile two, it looks to me like your person's on a mission to get your attention, to win your heart, possibly to marry you. So yeah, brace yourself. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to leave this here. Thank you so much, Pile 2. I hope it helped. See you soon. Bye. Hi, Pile 3. So this is the pile who chose the Himalayan salt. So let's get into your reading and let's see what messages your person has for you. Piles 1 and 2 were incredibly different from one another. So um, yeah, well, it'll be interesting to see if this pile has any similarities between the two or if it's wildly different as well. Okay, so pile three. Spirit, what messages can you bring through, please? From pile three's person for pile three. Oh, this reminds me, two of cups. Um, while I was pre-shuffling, um, I saw the four of wands show up. So twin fame, possibly, 11-11, new beginnings. Um, something about a firm, solid foundation or a celebration. You know, friends and family coming together to celebrate you and your person, maybe in the near future. Okay, so spirit, can you pass through messages, please? A pile three from their person. I'm seeing cheese. <laughs> Maybe your person's feeling really like cheesy about you in a kind of like a romantic way. I don't know. Maybe um, you're a cheese lover or something. Okay, let's see. We have judgment. 
Ooh, Knight of Cups. Yeah, maybe they are being all like cheesy and soppy and romantic. We have the Hierophant in reverse, Taurus. We have the Hanged Man in reverse. Queen of Wands reversed. Let me shuffle this over. Four of Cups. They're keeping all of these um, thoughts and feelings in. And I think it's because this, they, this, this energy feels, again, very, very different. It feels like your person looks at themselves as a mouse. And they see you as this, um, I don't know, beautiful, wonderful, unstoppable lion or lioness. You know, something like that. They feel almost like if they're standing next to you, no one would even notice them. Maybe you wouldn't even notice them. And this might be crazy to you. Um, but there's something about you that they're, they're almost in awe of. And because of that, they're keeping these feelings they have to themselves. So let's keep going. Yeah, lots and lots of fantasizing about commitment with you. This almost feels like an admirer. So if this is someone, you know, let's say you're in a, a connection where you feel like you've been doing the chasing and they're like a playboy, playgirl, whatever. This may not be your pile because this, we'll see how it goes. But so far, this feels like someone who's completely in awe of you. They're nervous around you. They, they sort of feel intimidated by you and they just spend a lot of time daydreaming, fantasizing, um, maybe imagining scenarios in which they come in and they're the hero and you're like, wow, you saved me, you know, <laughs> but they know that in real life you just don't need saving. Um, okay. Five of pentacles in the reverse, three of cups on the back. Let's see, eight of cups in reverse, six of cups. Yeah, this is someone who, who just thinks you are like the bee's knees. You are home to them. They could have known you since childhood or they were a friend in the past or something like that. Um, maybe they, they've they been around you in a social setting or they want to be around you in a social setting. This is, uh, wow, very, very interesting. Okay. So let's see, this pile needs a bit of clarifying. Judgment with the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Death in the reverse. I wonder, has this connection done a complete 180? If you're saying no, this is someone who really is quite confident, you know, in themselves. They maybe didn't even notice my worth in the past. They seriously see it now. And my goodness, has it humbled them? Okay see the moon in reverse if they weren't seeing something clearly they see it now we have scorpio we have pisces energy i think this person's saying they would have to overcome their fears in order to open up to you five of swords in reverse i don't know if there has been conflict but they're definitely um conflicted in their mind it's like they want to move this forward so much but at the same time they're saying am i really worthy of standing here next to you um would you even notice me if i was trying to move myself towards you Okay, the Hierophant with the Page of the Swords, please. Yeah, see, they fantasize about bringing you an opportunity. And again, with me seeing that Four of Wands before I started recording, um, this could be someone who fantasizes about proposing to you, who fantasizes about the both of you getting married and, and everyone celebrating with you and cheering for you and that kind of thing. Two of Pentacles and we have the Knight of Wands. Yeah, lots of passion, wanting to come in, wanting to be your saviour, whether they're a man, woman, whether you are a man or woman. Um, this is someone who dreams of showing you how confident they feel within. You know, within, but when it comes to showing it, they get nervous. They want to be... Um, they want to blow you away. They want you to feel the same way about them that they feel about you. But you see, you're coming up as the Queen of Wands. They're coming up as the Knight. They feel that in some way, they're not quite on your level. Eight of Cups in the reverse. King of Cups reversed. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Eight of Coins in reverse. Yeah, for some of you, in the past, I don't know what was going on with this person, but they didn't see the value of this or... Um, they, you know, walked away, they were focused on themselves or something else. They kept their emotion to, emotions to themselves. They may even have been um, cold with you. They didn't, it's like they didn't offer you anything. And I don't know what on earth has happened. Maybe they've seen you have a glow up or something, but someone who potentially was a bit cold deliberately in the past, maybe even a bit arrogant, has been so humbled. And if you would even want to speak with them, they would be you know, thrilled and over the moon. So um, if you know you you pulled back your energy or you did something to change the, the dynamic in this connection, yes, you know, if you're wondering, your person has absolutely noticed. And um, 
you know, the judgment out first. They had some kind of a wake up call. I just, I think the best way to describe this is that they are in awe of you. Maybe it's, it's, you know, your inner and outer beauty. Maybe it's your success. Maybe it's your attitude. Maybe it's how you perhaps have potentially bounced back from something that may have happened in this connection. Um, maybe they just see you as, as more incredible than anyone that they've ever known or anyone they thought they could know. Wow. Okay. Let's see what their messages are for you then. But this person just, there's, there's literally probably no like cheesy romantic fantasy they have not had about you. I think they would be so embarrassed for you if you know, if you knew <laughs> the kinds of things they like to um, daydream about. Okay. I, yeah, I would do absolutely anything for you. I see it. I feel it. Um, I'd go to the end of the earth. I will prove this in time once we come together. You know who I truly am and I plan to make this up to you 100%. They did something in the past. They weren't always this way. Something has happened to wake them up. They're seeing you clearly. They're seeing the situation clearly. And now they're saying, I would literally do anything for you. I'm in awe. I dream of a future with you. I, you know, I daydream of a future with you, but sometimes wonder if it will ever, ever amount to anything. I know I'll get a second wind, but I'm feeling a bit discouraged right now. I'll do my best to stay positive. Um, maybe discouraged, but maybe just really, really nervous. If you haven't been with someone in a long time, you may want to get your body ready for a change. Oh, just saying, wink, wow. <laughs> <laughs> do you see what I mean this is what's going on within this is the energy they want to bring to you but when they see you let's say they see you face to face with some of you it's like they mumble they fumble over their words they sort of um you know get confused oh which way was I going what was I doing maybe they drop stuff and then they like curse themselves and when they go home they're imagining you like swooning over them and then being super impressive it's that kind of thing <laughs> okay Let's see what else. <laughs> oh, I've been putting out messages publicly that are meant for your eyes only. I hope you're getting them. Please keep a lookout for any memes, stories, posts or songs because I'm trying to let you know you're on my mind. Yeah, you see, this is how they're communicating quite covertly right now, almost hoping you'll notice them. Okay. I'm dealing with a mental health issue, health issue right now. Once I have stabilized or healed enough to begin something new with you, I will reach out. Okay. So, um, that can be for some of you, especially if it's say something on the more serious side, because I'm not seeing it too strongly here. I actually feel maybe this, um, issue they're dealing with is maybe if it feels a bit more scale scaled down like it's an issue that's coming from their mental well-being as in like their thoughts are running away with them they're becoming very maybe anxious or um, nervous that's something that they're trying to get a hold on so I think if it's if it's like a full-blown quite serious mental health um, situation I think that's more of a, um, a very specific message not for everyone Okay, yeah, see, my limiting beliefs are evolving. I'm becoming more open-minded. If my beliefs were an issue before, please don't assume I'm the same way now. I am much more ready to listen to you now. And I think they're hoping you will be ready to listen to them. Please give me the space I need. I have to figure this out on my own so I can feel proud of myself. I can feel you in the energetic realm when you pray for me and talk to me telepathically. It's really helping me. Please keep it up. It's giving me faith. So if you have been communicating, sending them energy, they are feeling it. That's very nice. I cannot, if you haven't been with someone in a while, in a while or a long time, you may want to get your body ready. Are you serious? Wow. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay. <clears throat> what does this say? 
I know you still check my social media. I don't check yours anymore though. Okay, so maybe that's a message from you to them. The the blue card in this deck are designed to be the feminine energy, whoever that is, and the red, the masculine. I'm gonna read all of them as though they're from your person, but you know, see what resonates with you. So um I mean, they hope you're checking their social media. They're even saying that they're posting things for you, for those of you where you're both on social media. So I feel that maybe they assume, you know, you might not be because you're so busy and, and you know, busy being fabulous as well and doing things. You might not be interested, but they're hoping that you are. I have faith that we will be together again. I'm holding space for you. When... When I thought about how bad I hurt you, I literally cried. So they have been very emotional. And, you know, maybe one of the reasons they seem to be so heavily in the uh, position place of, of daydreaming, fantasizing, is because they wonder, you know, did I mess up too much in the past? Is it appropriate for me to come forward now? Maybe, you know, if they are posting things or putting out feelers, it might be to see how you respond if you're, you know, open to them willing to hear them out why do you stay when they treat you so badly okay so if you have somebody you're with your person here pile three is saying um they could treat you much better you know they, they again want to be this knight in, in shining armor whether you need it or not um ima i imagine the type of person you'd want to be with and that person is nothing like me they probably feel that they're too maybe small, unnoticeable, and I mean, you probably don't see them that way. You probably think, yeah, you're the, you're the sort of person, of course. Um, you check all of my boxes. How can that be possible? Mm -hmm. I feel so stupid for choosing lust over love. Some of these cards, I'm sure, came out in pile two. It's interesting, though. That was a very, very different energy. So if you go back and watch it, I'd be interested to know if piles two or three do if they even could resonate with you, both of them. Um, I am so afraid that you have left my life forever. It hurts me to the core. Mm, I'm so afraid that maybe I acted in a way that made you want to leave my life forever. Your intensity frightens and allures me all at the same time. I think there's um, a part of you that speaks to a part of them that they maybe tend to keep hidden or oppressed or hidden, yes, hidden, <laughs> hidden away. Um, so some kind of confidence um, or assertiveness or charisma about you that wants, it, it's like it's tapping into that same thing within them that they're maybe a little bit um, afraid of or expressing it would be new and they really you know they want you to see it within them they certainly fantasize about that i don't think i can take your reaction right now yeah if i was to come forward and, and you didn't notice me or you weren't interested it would be painful i can't ignore the signs i'm receiving any longer so they're seeing signs and synchronicities concerning you you've been in my dreams and my fantasies I know it might be too late by the time I figure things out. Again, pile two, the person was very concerned about timing. I don't know if I can meet your expectations. I actually think they don't know if they can meet their expectations concerning how they need to show up for you. I don't think it's your expectations um, specifically. I'm a better person because of you. Yeah, all you ask of them probably is to be, you know, fair, decent, honest, you know, that sort of thing karma is a bitch i finally got mine that's what i have felt i don't think they always were this way i think they might have been a bit of um you know a, a bit difficult to deal with to say the least in the past but something happened and it's it's like it um i'm getting a really violent image of someone okay i'll just tell you what i'm seeing of someone like smashing another person in the kneecaps with a sledgehammer i don't know oh okay it brought them to their knees right that was a really violent way of me getting to that so yeah, something happened that um, it could have been very painful, very difficult for them as well. And it's, it's really turned the tables here. Okay, so let's finish up with some of these messages here. Um, it should be me in the photo with you. The second message about, um, for those of you who have someone on your side, you know, a, a partner here, 
this person is saying I'm you know I would be more suitable for you I would be a better match it should be me in the photos with you yeah look in relationship so if you are in a relationship they're saying this really concerns me it really upsets me maybe they're a bit jealous as well we have non-smoker okay good to know um if they are i mean i don't really get the feeling this person's in a relationship because they've got no room in their heart for anyone but you if they are in a relationship uh, they've basically forgotten this other person exists because i'm not seeing it i'm not seeing them appear anywhere um so that's obviously not a situation that's going well for them okay what else please Let's see we have impulsive so they may dream of being impulsive. They may really want to be impulsive. We have loud. We have Libra. Oh my goodness, I have to recommend you go back and check pile two. Um, so, so many cards overlapping. We have body language. So this person finds it so difficult to speak, to say what's, what they're feeling. They're hoping you, you will pick it up from signs, suggestions, actions, indirect communication. Maybe for you, you know, as this Queen of Wands, you find that a bit frustrating and you'd rather they just approached you directly. Absolutely. Hell yes, always. They choose you. Yes, absolutely. It's time okay wow good it's time you're on the right track keep going so that can be a message from spirit as well to you saying you know yeah you're on the right track keep going and it's time okay so i'm gonna leave this here pile three thank you so much for watching i hope this helped if you go back and watch pile two and it does resonate can you let me know because that's really fascinating to me because two and three have been so different but there's there's you know the cards are overlapping um okay so thank you for watching take care and i'll see you soon bye